Previously on Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. Oh, shut the fuck up, everybody! Order! I will have a fucking order! I will have an order of turkey sandwiches! All for me! And now, back to yelling at people! Hello! This is Nico B, back with some more Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. When we last left off, we came to the shocking discovery that freaking, uh, the victim wasn't, uh, well, I, I, the victim was a steel samurai, not. Not the murderer. Oh, my sweet mother of God. And now we're gonna go... F hope I, I, I'm guessing this is probably the finale for our final investigation. So, let's see what happens now. I, I, I'm a little confused, like... So, wait, did the guy, like, rip the spear out of his hand and then use that to kill him? Like... Or something? <laughs> October 19th, 3.47 a.m., blah, blah, blah. I kind of skipped over that. <laughs> that was a close one, huh? Yeah. Re really? Oh. Really? Too bad. I'm sorry I missed it. Huh? Maya! Whoa! Your boobs are back to normal! Whoa! Oh, God. The music's coming. Wait, wait. Oh, wait, okay. Oh, I did it. I, I turned my volume down. <laughs> I remember finally. Oh, uh, okay. So, what happened? Well, they got a pretty good idea who did it. No, I need some motive and proof. Wow, good going, Nick. Wait, we do? We know who did it? One of the initial trial systems towards the last two we have. Initial trial? What's that? It's a new court system they introduced two or three years ago. They have so many cases in the new system, in the system they decided to speed the whole process up. So do the system trials they have to end in three days? Yeah, pretty much. Well, we got... We, we have no time to waste. I don't know who the hell it is. Like... I... I mean, I don't... I don't, like... I don't know. I'm. I doubt it. I don't think it was the nerdy guy. I'm gonna say. I'm just gonna say it's the assistant. Maybe like. Maybe. But I don't know. We haven't talked about D Vasquez at all. Maybe. Maybe it's her. Whatever. I don't get it, Maya. Why would Mr. Hammer steal the steel samurai costume? What? You mean Mr. Hammer was wearing that costume? Yeah. All right. But Mr. Hammer was the victim, Nick. Why would he go through the trouble of stealing it? Wait to find out. <laughs> right, I forgot. I guess I didn't actually tell you anything yet. What happened with the director's testimony? Well, it was pretty clear the producer and the director were both in the trailer. Huh. Which means that the killer has to be one of them. Really? Why? Because the real scene of the crime is Studio 2, where the trailer is. Why? <laughs> <laughs> hmm, was my always this excitable? <laughs> oh my god, why did I miss all this stuff? Well, you noticed anything that might help us? I can't see what's going on with Mia's here. So, no, I haven't noticed anything. Right. Maybe we should go talk to the WP. WP, Will Powers. Will Powers, but before I do that, I must do something first. Behold! Sorry, I don't know how that would help us figure this out. Look! Behold! Look at my freaking attorney that badge. Uh, by the way, some of you guys said that apparently not everybody does react to it, so. Ah, oh, bummer. That would have been really funny. Look at my cronut badge. Behold! I don't know what- What do you want me to say? Hey, you, Jackman. Well, hello there. <laughs> your, your chest hair is as poofy as always. Mr. Wright, you did very well again today. Thank you. Oh, thanks. Um, could you not look like you're about to burst into tears? <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, Nick, you must have really wowed him in there. <laughs> you stop looking so vulnerable, too. <laughs> WP, only one day left. Let's make it count. Yes. Though there's not really anything I can do to help. <laughs> For I am back here, and my Wolverine claws are in my hand. <laughs> I know, just go kill the guard over there. Good idea. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm not really sure what I can do either. <laughs> <laughs> Please, this is no laughing matter. Why, why are you laughing? <laughs> yeah, you're probably gonna die. <laughs> wow. Producer Vasquez. You tell me more about Miss Vasquez. Oh, the producer. She's well respected in the industry. They say she's a genius. A genius? Why? <laughs> she's been at Global Studios for five years now. Right or wrong, nobody dares tell her different these days. Why is that? Ever since she came on board, we've had nothing but hits. Global Studios was on its knees, but she picked it up and made it shine. Oh, and... And what? Nothing. Forget it. I've only heard rumors of anyhow. No, don't do that! What? There's no new option? I should be like, Don't you dare lie to me, Wolverine. 
Can you tell me anything about Mr. Manila? Oh, he used to be a minor straight to video director. But something in this world caught Vasquez's eye. She brought the Steel Samurai idea to him. Now everyone knows the name Salmonella. <laughs> For a majority of reasons. I hear he's pretty much at her back, back and call, though. Also, I hear he has Salmonella. <laughs> Whenever she says jump, he asks how high and all that. I can imagine being in her beck and call, though I can't imagine him jumping. <laughs> <laughs> I, can, I can't do anymore. <laughs> you haven't actually jumped yet. Come on, get, get your lazy ass feet off the ground. Uh, no, <laughs> I'm too heavy. I'm too top heavy. <laughs> Fine, then go make me some more sandwiches. Oh, good. I'm good at that. I'm good when it involves food. I was worrying about Mr. Hammer. He was a big star back in the day, right? But then he just dropped off the face of the earth. Oh, yes, you're right. In fact, he was my role model when I started in this business. But he just stopped taking on big roles. That's when he began appearing in little productions at Globe. How could he do that? I was really looking forward to a sequel to Samurai Summer. He just gave up being a star five years ago. Dude, what, ha what happened to you, Ryu, man? God damn. <laughs> I can no longer do my Hadouken. <laughs> It's no, it's no use in trying anymore. But you know, I think about it. That was right when Miss Vasquez claimed came to Global. Five years ago. Hmm, sounds mighty suspicious. I don't know exactly what that means, but... She blackmailed him some, or something? Okay, uh... I don't think I have anything I can really present to him. Alright, let's go bug somebody. Oh no, not you again! <laughs> what, could we have just left you in jail, you know? <laughs> just because, I don't know, you scare people with your piranha face. The old one back sure is quiet today. You know, this place is really peaceful like this. Ned, I think your guard's down. Yeah? I bet we can even eat those donuts in the guard station if we wanted. <laughs> you wait, you die! Woo! She's alive! Yay! <laughs> you know she just threatened to murder us, right? <laughs> I will eat your fucking liver! <laughs> oh, it's good to see you too, old bag. Um, I was worried about Divas, kids, the producer. Oh, the studio bigwigs love her! So she always gets her way! She, she seems bitter. Do you not like the producer? Look, the studio people don't want me talking about her, so sorry. Damn it. What about Salmonella? What about it? <laughs> I've got, yes, I've got Salmonella. What do you, oh, oh yeah, that, that, uh, yeah. <laughs> well, he's, he's a soft, a pushover. He's weak. <laughs> Does whatever Vasquez tells him to do. She treats him like dirt, but I think he likes it. <laughs> he's just that kind of guy. Huh? Why would anyone like being treated like dirt? Doesn't that make it? doesn't make any sense, does it, Nick? Er, no, no, it doesn't, Maya. Well, how old are you? Don't you know it? Well, well, Maya, see, when a man and a woman love each other very much, sometimes they feel the need to strap each other to, to torture devices and smack whips on each other and wear tight spandex <laughs> and put gags in their mouth. Oh, what? Well, there's a lot of I don't understand about the world. Yeah, it's really, it's really weird. <laughs> Life's kind of fucked up. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm never falling in love now. About Mr. Hammer. Arg! I heard about what you said today. Chicken Whipper Summer. Poor old Hammer. You drag a star down for the side. Stop on it. Calling him a criminal. A thief. I, 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 I won't forget this piranha face. Uh oh, she's really pissed this time. You listen to me, Whipper Snapper. My poor old Hammer would never do such a thing. Why would he steal Power's costume so he could sneak it by, by me? Who never stoops so low? It's impossible! Oh god, she's gonna eat me! Run! Run, my! Let's go to the employee area first, just cause I. It's sort of like a. It's like. I hate it. I just. I hate the navigation of this fucking game. It's like. I have to keep go through each area. I can't just go straight someplace. It's like. God, why? Why do you make me do this? Uh. It's over 19, close to the employee area, blah, blah, blah. I guess they're not filming today either. No, I'm sad. I, I didn't want to see them filming just one time. Straw will be over and done by tomorrow. You can see them see them filming later. I guess. This is where you found that bottle of sleeping pills, right? 
Uh-huh. What if that's if there's any other clues lying around? <laughs> oh no! Yeah! No, no, no! No touching. <laughs> See pal? Ah! What the What are you doing here, dude? Oh, sorry, pal. He's always like he's always like panting when I see him. He's like, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Didn't mean to frighten you, pal. <laughs> okay, you can stop screaming now. <laughs> oh God, it's horrible! It's so terrible! Jesus, I, what's wrong with you two? Just me, your favorite pal. Oh, puffy face! Didn't mean I was in a heart attack. Hey, I guess I can be a little dramatic, dra dra dramatic at times. Nah. I suppose it's the actor in me, see, pal. Dramatic indeed. Uh huh. Anyway, I'm here to examine the plate on that table. Wait, are you looking for sleeping pills? Yeah, pal. Traces thereof. Wait, I know exactly what I need this to be done. Behold my cronut! I'm guessing I know about as much as about that as you do, pal. I eat nothing. Oh, uh, no, I guess I'm... Maybe I missed my chance then to get him to say something. I, I, you guys said he actually does respond to it. But I think that was kind of a generic response. Oh, bummer. Say something funny! <laughs> no. Leave me alone! <laughs> so you're looking for traces of the sleeping pills? How? For a thorough examination, I gotta take the plate back to the precinct. Meh. But I have the capabilities to make a cursory examination right here. <laughs> That's right, I'm that good! Our science guy gave me some testing solution. This reacts to sleeping pills, see? There's traces it'll change color. Wow, neat! Oh, Dr. Gumshoe, what are you waiting for? Now, now, everything in due time, pal. I don't, okay, fine, I don't know what I'm doing. Ah, <laughs> uh, I'll take the solution on the plate, change color, all right. It's the worst thing pills on the plate. Damn it, I knew it. Damn it, damn are you, are you? Looks like it. Steak plate. Mmm, yummy. Here's your investigation. Tell the truth, it's a real mess, pal. Some people think we should pursue the case we already have against Powers. And some people think we should switch suspects. What do you think, Detective Gumshoe? Well, pal, I hate to admit it, but I'm not sure I buy the case against Mr. Powers anymore. I mean, look at his bulging muscles and that hairy chest. My God, I can't believe Hugh Jackman would do anything like that. Wolverine, man! He's Wolverine! <laughs> Dude, I'm serious, like, was it? Wasn't Hugh Jackman the best Wolverine there? Like, can anyone ever be Wolverine again now after that? I don't think so. Feel kind of bad for Mr. Edgeworth, though. <laughs> I, I don't. Fuck that guy. Edgeworth, damn it, my arch nemesis. Yes, we know. Stop bringing it up. How is Edgeworth doing, anyway? Edgeworth is out of control. He was in the waiting room, and he crushed his paper cup with hot, hot coffee in it. <laughs> damn that. Damn that Phoenix Wright. Damn him. Oh, my sweet mother. My hand. Ah, that was a bad idea! Ah, ha, ah, he's like rolling on the ground. You all right, pal? Oh my god, go to the hospital! Yeah! <laughs> okay, all right, well, I'm gonna go and uh, let you uh, finish your coffee. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> whoa, whoa. Talk about burns, pal. It's gonna be easy to come in with a bandage on his hand. Wow, the fury of Edgeworth! Yeah, crushing paper cups, my god. Cups, bottles. Cup, oh, wait, what, what was that? Cups. Wait, cups? Bottles? That's it! I know who the killer is. <laughs> so, what happened with that empty bottle? Oh. <laughs> oh, the bottle of sleeping pills? Well, I got some good news for you about that. They found the victim, Jack Hammer's Prince, on the bottle. So, that means. Yep, sounds like the one who put powers to sleep was none other than the victim. So, I was right. Ha! Take that. Okay, so, I don't know. Maybe he was trying to frame him for something else. Maybe he wasn't, maybe, that, maybe that's it. Maybe he, was, he was going, maybe he was going to kill, like, D. Vasquez or something. And, uh, because she, maybe she was blackmailing him or something. She was going to kill him. And then she, like, defended herself and killed, killed that, uh, killed him instead. So, but he was doing it to set up, uh, uh, power. <laughs> maybe. I don't know. Oh, oh, hello. Huh. What are you doing here? Oh, I was just cleaning up the dressing room. I guess some of will be using it anymore, so. What? What? Why? But WP's innocent. 
Yes, and I'm really grateful for y'all for all you've done, but this week is the last episode of the Steel Samurai. <gasps> what? No! <laughs> no! <laughs> Uh-oh. Why did you tell her that? Couldn't you have waited <laughs> till she wasn't with me to tell her that? <laughs> oh boy, that's not good. Seriously, what? I was wondering if I could ask you about Mr. Hammer. Yes? On the day of the murder, he went to Studio 2. Huh? I thought he went to Studio 1. He stole a Steel Samurai costume, too! What? <laughs> like, she's like, no expression, she's like, What? <laughs> what? Why would Mr. Hammer do something like that? Oh, I guess the rumor must be true, then. The rumor? Yeah, Miss Vasquez, the producer, had some kind of hold on Hammer. I knew it! Blackmail! It's all it has to do with, it always, it always has to do with blackmail. And drugs. And... Spears. She has some dirt on him. He'd do anything she said, apparently. Some dirt? What dirt? <laughs> what kind of dirt did it have worms in it? Dirt, you know, bad stuff. Uh, I know what dirt makes both of these. About five years ago, they were filming a movie starring Mr. Hammer. They were using the new studio, Studio 2. Some sort of accident happened during filming. After that, they never used Studio 2 again. They left the film set the way it was, too. The film set? Was that, was that trailer part of the film set, then? Oh. Wait, what? Wait, so the... Oh, wait, no. It, the inside of the trailer was? Okay. Five years ago? Jesus, really? They didn't bother to clean it up. What do you mean, the last Joe Samurai? Oh, I'm so sad. I know it's a shock, but nothing can be done to save it now. Whoever really did kill Mr. Hammer also signed the Joe Samurai's death warrant. No! No! <laughs> also, I hear that the Global Studios is going to change its programming. They're not going to make kids shows anymore. <laughs> what? Why? <laughs> what are they? They make CSI Japan. <laughs> I don't know. It's sad, but that's what Global Studios decided. Oh my god. It's just not a good day for Maya here. Why aren't they going to make kids shows anymore? Studio Big Boys don't want to steal Samurai around anymore. They want to forget all this ever happened. They want it quiet, do you understand? How could they just do that? <gasps> what about all the kids who love this Joe Samurai? And adults like me! Oh, hey, bitch. It's okay, I'm sure the kids will be fine. Find a new hero to follow. No, that can't be true! If the program just ends, they'll, just, they'll be heartbroken for sure! Nick, say something! <laughs> um, yeah! That, what she said! <laughs> I think evidence rather than words is called for for here. Take a look at this. Oh, the this thing. Yeah, uh, behold. And this is? A fan collected all of these photographs. The kids love the Steel Samurai. If you do this, you will destroy their hopes and dreams. Are you? You want that on your fucking conscience? Do you, random assistant girl? The show could shouldn't be canceled. Just some adults can save face. I think you would understand that better than anyone. You're right. Okay. Well, what what can I do? Well, for starters, you can tell some. You can tell me something. Tell me what it is that Globus Globus Studios is so intent on hiding. Tell me about this accident five years ago. Okay. Tell me, damn it. What happened five years ago? Well, I can tell you what I've heard. Apparently, five years ago, someone someone died. It was Hammer's fault. S someone died. Holy shit. It was an accident. It was an accident, of course. Anyway, the producer, Miss Vasquez, managed to hush it up. And that's the dirt she had on Hammer, Mr. Hammer. That's why Mr. Hammer would do, do anything Miss Vasquez asked him to do. But it was an accident, right? Why didn't they just make, make it public? Well, you know, Mr. Hammer was a big star back then. They were afraid about what would happen to his career if work got out. I see. You know who knows more about this? This old bag. What are you... Old bag! Damn her! Damn you, old bag. Still hiding shit from me. She was here at the studios back then, you know. <laughs> she was. <laughs> she, I heard she's been around since the fucking dinosaurs. <laughs> Open the door, get on the floor. Old bag's doing the dinosaur. All right, we'll try ask her. She'll talk. She's not, gonna, she's not gonna tell me shit. Why are you still sitting around? If you like the place so much, why don't you take her, t t take over, Ray? You old bag doesn't look so good. Everybody's doing their darnest to forget hammer. Who do they think my global studios wanted us today? Hammer! Hammer! MC Hammer time, baby! 
She started to throw through the magic! <laughs> I'm having a seizure, help me! Maybe we should keep a safe distance. Oh, call an ambulance! Ah. Alright, what happened five years ago? Tell me, damn it. I want to ask you what five years ago. Ah! Hold, hold! Who did you hear that from? I, uh, huh? Nichols! <laughs> Nichols? Where? <laughs> I don't have any nickels. Nichols, Nick, Nichols, Nick. Penny Nichols, that the assistant we talked to. Oh, right. Hey, we heard about the accident. It was during filming with Jack Hammer. He killed a man, didn't he? Whipper snappers! Dredging up dirt on someone's past like that? And they're recently departed in a list! Suppose you think it's, this is fun? No, I'm just doing my job, Rick, Mr. Powers. God, I'm doing my job. You claim the hammer stole Powers' costume? You expect to believe that rubbish? Or do you have some kind of proof? With the hammer stole Powers costume. Hmm. I don't have proof yet, I don't think, do I? Sorry, Miss Old Man, but I do have proof. I can prove that Mr. Hammer stole Mr. Powers' costume. Take that! Take this! Mr. Powers ate T-Bone steak for lunch, correct? Well, yeah, so. This is the plate that he used to eat that steak. There are traces of steaming pill powder on the plate. Oh, uh, ha! I, I bet Powers put it in there himself! You would lie well, I can't must have had trouble sleeping sometimes. It's time to prove that Mr. Herman put the pills in. Ah, here we go. Take that! Spell contains sleeping pills. Mr. Herman's fingerprints were found on the bottle. Oh, God! Uh. I see. Poor, poor Hammer. You did wrong, Hammer. Rest your soul. Miss Obed? Okay, you win. I'll talk. I'm tired, see? Hi. Tired of holding it all in. Miss Obed. No. No, Miss Obed. You're right. Five years ago, there was an accident. A fatal accident. It's worse. Some paparazzi took a photo of it. The photo, well, it caused quite a stir. And guess who made it all better? Vasquez, that dirty slut. She has ties to the mafia. Slides the paparazzi. That was the beginning. After that, she became a force to be reckoned with here at the studio. I see. But you have to understand, poor old Hammer never meant to hurt any harm to anyone. Be so bad! No, be so bad, no! Hold on a minute. Poor be so bad! Oh, I'm so sad! <laughs> Here, take this. A photograph? Oops! Oh, look! It is! Hey! It is that fucking dent in the fence actually did have something to do with it. I noticed it before. I might have actually cut that out of the last. I, I, at one point, I had mentioned it during the playthrough, but I, I might have I might have edited that part out. But I, but I, I was like, I was like, what if that's significant in any way? It's a big dent there. <laughs> Oopsies! Is he wearing a tennis get up? <laughs> tennis ninjas. Wait a second. This is the picture. Well, this, this is the picture. Is this the trailer studio too? I was supposed to fight with a bag on top of those stairs there. He pushed the other actor, and the man fell into the flower box fence. Ow! Ow! But how did you get this? It was a long time ago. I don't feel much like talking about it. I understand. All right. Yes. Ugh, I'm getting some fucking justice finally. Justice. All right. Let's go look at other stuff. Number 19, Studio One, entrance. Think back to the day of the murder. Mr. Hammer put on the Steel Samurai costume. Then he left from here to go to Studio Two. Right. Why? I wonder if someone, someone called him, like the director or the producer? Head back to Studio Two. Up. Oh. Hello there. D. Vasquez. Hey, Nick. It's Miss Vasquez. Hello. Hello! <laughs> H E L L O. Maya, she at least try to be polite. <laughs> Puffy face, I don't care. I don't like that that krill do ill bitch. I'm watching the clouds. The clouds I spit out of my mouth as I killed my lungs. <laughs> I am dying inside. That's all she had to say, apparently. I can tell we're gonna get a lot out of you, lady with the dragon tattoo. Old movie poster, the singing samurai snoring jackhammer. What the hell do samurai sing about? Chopping off heads? Oh, 
My! <laughs> oh. My. God! I'm gonna use the best. It's the same as Samurai sings his way to fame and fortune. Mr. Hero was a very accomplished singer, you know. Singing Samurai Stars. What's next? Ninja Ballet? Oh, they already made a movie like that. You mean Ninja Ballet? Attack of the Swans? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I'm not going to the movies with you ever again, Maya. <laughs> yes, you are. We're going right after this. Oh, I got a presenter with a photo. That's probably what it is. He's not even looking. Where? What? Where did you get that? I will. Hold back. Hold? <laughs> she means a scary lady, Miss Old Bag Dick. Oh, right. <laughs> right, anyway. <laughs> I'm still not used to these crazy names we all have. <laughs> Miss Vasquez. You heard this incident from the press, didn't you? And you used to control Mr. Hammer. The wind. The huh? <laughs> it's gotten stronger, don't you think? The wind. Your conversation interests me. Let's talk about it more inside the trailer. Well, I shall kill you both! <laughs> Nick, you went inside the trailer! <laughs> She's gonna fucking lunge at me with a... Huff, you came. Well then, what was that... What was that you were talking about? <laughs> Why is she so eager to talk all of a sudden? Miss Vasquez, you were using that incident. You were blackmailing Mr. Hammer so you could control him, weren't you? That's why he was doing kids shows for petty change. Oh, so I am a blackmailer now. Well, that's what it was, wasn't it? I mean, sure, it was an accident. But you used to drag Mr. Hammer down right from his freckled blazing star. Oh, I haven't pulled anyone down from anywhere. Mr. Hammer's career went down, went sour of its own accord. But you were the cause. You pressured him. I didn't think it was just an accident. Excuse me. What is all? What is this all about? You keep saying accident, accident. How are you so sure? What do you mean? Must I spill everything out for you? Think. What would it be? What would it? What would it be if it wasn't an accident? No. No way. You mean Mr. Hammer did it on purpose? That is what. That is what I mean. Oh, look at her. Oh, now she's looking really evil. Look. Yes. Ah, yes! All according to plan! Mwahahaha! <laughs> oh, God! Oh, I should stop smoking this thing. It is slowly withering my insides. Where's your proof? Can you prove it? Just, just think. Would he have let me run for his life for five years over a mere accident? I ran him hard, believe you me. But the security lady said it was an accident! Oh, well, she was a big fan of hammers, you see. She jumped on the reporter who brought that photo into the studio. She wrenched it out of his out of his hand. She did. Gave him a few bruises too. Whoa! Go back! <laughs> Give me that photo, whippersnapper! Please, ma'am, I'm just doing my job. Oh my God! <laughs> oh God! I'm, oh, oh Lord! Let me go! <laughs> I'm gonna rip your fucking face off! Get over here! I'm not finished with you yet. I gave you the photo. What else do you want? Your fucking dignity! You're my bitch now! <laughs> no! So that's why she had the photo. She's an old fool. Of course, all the reporter would need is the negatives. She... he could have made a copy. But he didn't. The only copy of that photo is the one you hold. Give it to me now. What? That is, this is valuable evidence! Boys! What the hell?! Uh... Where the hell did you guys come from? Why the heck? Damn it. Damn it, Maya. I told you we shouldn't have come in here. But you didn't say that! Oh, you're right. Actually, I didn't say it. Nico B said it. Damn it, Nico B. What? It wasn't my fault. No! Why can't you talk to me through the game? I don't know. Blame the game! Dude, look at that one guy on the right. It looks like Van Helsing. <laughs> was that. Wait, was Van Helsing also Hugh Jackman? No! No, another Hugh Jackman. <laughs> Jesus. Another Hugh Jackman character. We're fucked. Dude, oh my god. Are these like the Turks from Final Fantasy VII? What's happening? Um, who are they? Professionals. They're good at erasing various things. What do you think? Would you like to be erased? What? The trial ends tomorrow. How unfortunate. It's a shame you'll have to miss it. Tell me why. Why do you want this photograph so badly? This is Mr. Hammer's dirt, no? Why should D. Vasquez care about it at all? I'm sure I'll have plenty of time to think about that where you're going. So long, friends. 
Boys, you're next away. No! What the hell is... No! What the... Oh, yes! Oh, my God! Hold it right there, pal! I heard everything, pal! <gasps> no way! It's... It's... It's a good job, Jim! <laughs> That's right, me. I've come to save the day, pal. There'll be no erasing here. Long time on the job. My God, I'm actually doing something useful. Steve Vasquez, you're coming down to the precinct with me now. Technically, I still have, like... I still have four bodyguards behind me. Professional killers, actually. And there's just one of you. <laughs> I probably should have brought back up, pal. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad. Very well. It appears this contest will be decided tomorrow, then, in court. I'm looking forward to it. Oh, you're going down. Oh, that was exciting, pal. Like my adrenaline rush. Hey, you okay, pal? Sorry I was a little late with my entrance. I don't get many chances to practice that sort of thing. <laughs> Dr. Gumshoe, you're Sammy, I love you now. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I was really scared. Uh, oh, don't mention it, pal. Just doing my job. Uh, dude, look at you, man. Look at you being useful. Uh, uh good old Dr. Gumshoe. Do you need? Come on, I want a hug, man. Give me a hug. No, pal, please don't touch me. No, oh, fine, all right, come on. Ah, uh, yeah, it feels good, actually. Mm. <laughs> you have such broad shoulders. Mm. Oh, Karen. <laughs> Dr. Gumshoe? Sorry, it's just, I wanted to say that. <laughs> I wanted to say, say that line ever since I was became a detective. <laughs> okay, I've got one more job to do today. I'm sure we'll run into each other again soon. See you later, pal. Well, Nick, looks like we're getting close to the bottom of this. Who's at the bottom? D Vasquez? Or is it? <laughs> well, I feel like I'm not very far in this video and I've already kind of reached it, and so I'll just keep going, right? Why the hell not? Get a jump on this this trial. October 20th, 10 a.m. District Court. Courtroom number four. <laughs> oh my god, I you know what? This is just bullshit. This is horseshit, guys. Seriously, I, I've i been sitting here for ten minutes waiting for you fuckers to shut up. God damn it. Oh, oh, I, had, I had my turkey sandwich today, so I'm not overreacting. That's right. Fucking turkey sandwich. God, it was delicious, too. You, you guys have it in the, I've been to the cafeteria today? It was fantastic. I put like a little bit of horseradish and lettuce and tomato. And, oh, my God. Mm, oh, my God. Your Honor, sir, please focus on the time. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, oh. Right, we're going to finish the trial of Will Powers. Prosecution is ready, Your Honor. Defense is ready, Your Honor. God, stop yelling at me, fright. Sorry, I was really excited. Today was the final day of this trial. So don't fuck it up. Hope both the defense and the prosecution will be able to present decided evidence. Very well, Mr. Edworth, your opening statement. In yesterday's session, the defense presented us a new theory for this case. It claims that the scene of the crime was, in fact, Studio 2. Today, while calling people to prison in Studio 2 trailer that day, when the testimonies of truth will become clear. Very well. Edward seems a bit on edge today. <laughs> Giggity. <laughs> what the hell? Nothing even happened yet. Shut up. <laughs> Call your first witness, Mr. Edward. <laughs> That's why they... I'm on edge, because that's why they call me Edgeworth. Don't you understand? The prosecution calls Miss D. Vasquez to the stand. Miss D. Vasquez's producer was present in the Studio 2 trailer that day. Oh uh, man, we realize there's no smoking inside this building. <laughs> Fuck you, I do, what I, I do whatever I want. I am French or German, I don't even know, really. <laughs> when the witness stated her... Oh, oops. <laughs> when, the, when the witness stated her name and occupation... <laughs> Vasquez, I'm producer for Global Studios. I guess I am probably more German. On the, on the day of the murder, you went in the trailer in Studio 2. As everyone here knows, yes? I dislike needless banter. If you must pontificate, do it when I'm not here. Oh my god. <laughs> wow, I don't believe it. Someone actually more stuck up than I am. Jesus. I never thought I'd have found the day. And I have never been more attracted. I am having sex with that woman when we, before this is over. <laughs> <laughs> Very well, Miss Vasquez. What are you going to call your testimony concerning the day of the murder? Nick, I know she did it. Make her pay. Right. She's guilty. I'll catch her with her pants down, so to speak. <laughs> Figuratively speaking. And literally. <laughs> because if there, just rips her shirt off. 
Day of the murder. I entered the trailer. Oh, a little before noon. The meeting began at 12 sharp. It ended at 4. There was to be a rehearsal afterwards, so we went to Studio One. I was fatigued, so I had Cell take me. At 2.30, we took a 15-minute break in the meeting. Sal and I ate T-bone steaks on the table in front of the state front front of the trip. We found Hammer's body later when we all went to Studio One. That's all. Hmm. I have a question about one part of your testimony. You were fatigued, so, I'd, so you had Cell take you. The van. Hmm? There's a van at Studio Two. The van. I knew it. The van did it. I had him take me in that. I thought it might be risky to walk, but with the monkey's head toppling over. Van adds a record. I I see. Oh my god. Very well, Mr. Reich, cross examination. It's the final bell, Nick. Let's do it. Alright. Bring it on, Edgeworth. I entered the trailer a little before noon. Hold it there! What do you mean? By yourself? Yes. And you didn't stop in at the employee area? No. <laughs> Are you always this terse? Yes. <laughs> oh, oh dear. <laughs> no, my god. Being at 12th shop, it ended at 4. Hold it! <laughs> Did no one leave during the meeting? No. Come on, let's talk a bit more about that. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh! I will slam my big hand down. The witness did not come here to engage in idle conversation. Mm. Ah! God, Edward, calm down that fucking desk there. <laughs> you see that imprint on your hand? Is there? <laughs> Didn't you shatter your hand earlier? <laughs> Every time he slams that. Ow! <laughs> Ow! <laughs> That's not gonna stop me from slamming my hand when I want to. Stop interrupting the testimony. Same to be said to you, Mr. Edgeworth. And please stop banging on your little desk. It hurts my ears. <laughs> oh, you oh, son of a bitch. Oh, I swear to God, I'm having sex with that, that woman before this is over. I don't care if she is convicted. I will go to jail just to have to make sweet love with her. There was a rehearsal after us, so we went to Studio One. Hold it! And when exactly was that? I forgot. Maybe you could try remembering, damn it. No. The meeting ended at four, and the rehearsal was scheduled for five. And I would think it was between those times. You would think. Come on, all you do is state the obvious, Edgeworth. Damn you, Edgeworth. Always one step ahead. I was fatigued, so I had Sal to take me. Hold it! Hold on! You had Sal take you. What does that mean? It means what I just said. I had Sal take me into Studio 2 with Van. Oh, oh right. At 2.30 we took a 15 minute break in, in the meeting. Hold it! Ugh. And what were you doing during that time? See, I like... <laughs> Phoenix slams his same dish with both hands, Edgeworth is just with one big hand. Don't hit your desk. It irritates me. Fuck you! Oh! <laughs> yeah, Mr. Wright. Oops. <laughs> Don't you slam your desk like me! <laughs> Only I can do that. <laughs> it was a 15 minute break. <laughs> <laughs> Sal and I had T-bone sticks on the table in front of the trailer. Hold it! You have someone who can verify this. Sal. No, I mean someone else. <laughs> well, one person is enough. She committed murder during that break. She wouldn't have had time to eat a T-bone steak. Find some evidence that she didn't she eat didn't eat that steak. Will Nick buy anything? I kinda Kinda wish it she said a little more. It's hard. I think she's pretty used to being being the boss. But I'm sure you'll find some kind of contradiction in what she said. Somewhere. Objection. Oh here we go. I present the steak but I'm a little confused by I thought the steak bones were over the, the the steak was eaten by uh the I presented the, the steak bones. I thought it was eaten by the uh, employees or the, the actors. So, oh, but it was was it in the employee area? Was that what the issue is? So they they wouldn't have eaten it out in front of the trailer. Ha! As I thought. You claim you ate T-bone steak. Mmm. But I say you did not. What's this now, Mr. Wright? Look at this. It's a plate. This plate was on the table in the employee area. As you can see, a large bone has been left behind. 
Mr. Wright, need I remind you, it was a T-bone steak. Exactly my point, man. Remember if you will. Miss Vasquez and Mr. Manella ate a table outside the trailer. Oh, there wasn't any bones on it. Yet there were no bones left on the plate. The plates were bare. Ah, oh yes, there we go. Struck a nerve, did I? Miss Vasquez, mmm. Tell me how can a person eat a T-bone steak and not leave the bone? I don't think I know how. You ate the bone too. <laughs> you ate a boneless steak. <laughs> you didn't eat a steak. Any steak during that break. You took your steak and threw it in threw it somewhere, like that incinerator. Ah! Oh. Mm. Mm. oh no no. <laughs> I'm not angry. No, I'm just smoking. I bit off I bit my tongue! Alright, I see. What was Vasquez doing during her break? I kinda wish though instead of that the piece of evidence they had given me. I wish they had given me the, the plates that um that she had been using, you know? As opposed to the ones that were in the other area. Cause it was sort of I was finding it was kinda hard to get find a connection between the two. I was like, what? Like, why do these plates have to do with those plates? Okay. It's cause it basically okay, because it didn't have a bone on it. Alright. What was Vasquez doing during her break? Isn't it obvious, Your Honor? <laughs> Picking on Salmonella. She was meeting with the Steel Samurai! Order! I want another order of Dragon Sandwiches! Are you saying? Yes, Your Honor. As Miss Vasquez left the trailer to eat her steak, she ran to the Steel Samurai, and then you did it. You killed him with your own hands. Ah. Oh, it is her, isn't it? She's like, ah! Oh. No! Mr. Wright, isn't that a little presumptuous? Damn you, damn you, Wright. You think I'm gonna let you do that? What kind of stunt are you trying to pull, Wright? Let him claim what he wants. You see, I did it. Yes. Fascinating, and here I was worrying that today would be as boring as all the rest. Very well. Let's just have a battle of wits, you and I. <laughs> Any day, Vasquez. Good luck, Nick! Bring it on. Let's see. What was that murder weapon again? Oh yes, the samurai spear. Yes. Am I, am I as you can see, a woman of petite stature? How could I possibly use that heavy spear as a weapon? I, th I think you could. I, oh, because that... Oh, because it was, um... It had been broken earlier. So it had been duct taped. So that she could just unduct tape the spear, essentially... Um, or a break it again, maybe, and then use the tip of that to stab him. I think you could. It's not impossible. Well, maybe it's not impossible, but... Silence. I'm speaking. <laughs> what? The fuck? The fuck, bitch? Oh, my lord. I am so freaking aroused right now. You have no idea. I've got a huge heart on behind this counter. <laughs> The victim was stabbed through the chest from the front, yes? I believe this would indicate the victim was aware of the killer's presence. Now, the steel samurai costume is quite light and mobile. Compared to the victim, I am weaker and slow. I couldn't possibly win such a fight. Not to mention there's, there's proof I did not have the spear. The photograph of the steel samurai shows the victim himself was holding it. What do you mean to suggest that I could have wrested it from away from him? Yeah, take that. <laughs> take that right. Yeah, go me. I'm helping! <laughs> ah! If you still think she did it, show us proof. Um, er. Hey, Nick! Look at the data we have of that Steel Samurai Spear in the core record! Is there something in there that gets to you? It's like odd about the Samurai Spear! Let's see, that's what I was saying! Wait! Sorry, the Maverick's right. Sorry, Your Honor. I'd like to take back my previous claim. Very well. I won't hold it in your claim. I'm afraid I won't have to penalize. Oh, what? Oh, uh, I get. What? I'm a little confused. That, so I couldn't. That, it couldn't have been that. Uh, okay. Ugh. What's in this? You're taking back your claim. Let's backtrack for a moment. I want to consider whether the witness could have used the samurai spear or not. However, that has no bearing on this case. Meaning? The samurai spear was not the murder weapon. Oh. What? Ah. Uh, what? Ah. Uh, okay. Where's the meaning of this? The spear was found lying next to the victim's body. I have proof, Your Honor. I prove that the Samurai Spear was not used as the murder weapon. 
Because of the break? Take that! Take that. I present my proof, the so-called murder weapon. But that is the murder weapon. Not so fast. Remember that the spear broke during the modern morning to see action scene run through. But someone fixed the spear. It was a security lady. She fixed it with duct tape. Now tell me, how is it possible for someone to stab a man who is wearing a thick heart costume with this through the chest? Oh, okay. I, I, I guess I was thinking... Okay. I thought, you know, they could have broken off that pe the tip again and used that to stab him. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Mr. Wright, what are you driving at? Thinking about, think about what you're... Silence! I'm the one testifying here and I will be hurt. The fuck am I even here for, really? Are you quite sane? Are you even aware of what you're saying? If the samurai spear was not the murder weapon, then pray tell what it was. How was Hammer killed? Well, Mr. Wright, can you tell us what the murder weapon used to kill Mr. Hammer? I can tell you, I can't tell you. Fucking balls, I don't know. It's nothing I have, I mean, right? Wasn't a van, steak, sleeping bottle, five-year-old photo. <laughs> you used the five-year-old photo to do. Oh! Oh! That! This, the, the fence, right? That's gotta be it. Would I make a claim like that if I couldn't tell you what the weapon was? For your confidence in size, me, I found him, Mr. Wright. Very well, let's see this murder weapon then. Oh, yeah, okay. Here, take that! Look at this photo. Behold! What, what is this? Why is that Jack Hammer? Why? That's Jack Hammer standing at the top of the stairs. Stop to this wreck him. Oh my god. Order! Out of order! Fucking up! Order this trial will be suspended! Protect savages! Mr. Wright, what is this all about? This photograph is from five years ago. There was an unfortunate accident at Global Studios. It's a photo of that very accident. Not a word of this was leaked to the outside. It's a close kept secret in the studios. What does this have to do with the current case? Mr. Edgeworth, you still can't see. See it? See the fallen man in this photo. See how the fence post pierced him through the chest. Oh, what? No! <laughs> Are you saying? Yes. What happened five years ago? Ah! Mmm! Has happened again! Oh! <laughs> what was that reaction? She's like, ah! Oh! She didn't look angry, she was just like, ah! Oh. That's right, continue. It's 2.30 p.m. on the day of the murder. Miss D. Vasquez meets Jack Hammer outside the Studio 2 trailer. Then she did it. She pushed Mr. Hammer off the stairs onto the fence. Just like Mr. Hammer had done, done five years ago. The way she did it on purpose or by accident, I cannot say. Oh! What the hell? What the hell is the evil smile? In other words, the, the victim, Mr. Hammer, he died in the same way that he caused another man to die. Five years ago? No! <laughs> no! Precisely. Ironic, isn't it? Oh, very creative, Mr. Wright. I could use a man like you on my script writing stuff. You deny that with what I say is true. Mr. Wright, let's say for the sake of argument that Hammer died at the tra trailer as you, as you say. If the body was found in Studio One, was it not? And in the evil magistrate's costume, no less. Are you then claiming that I carry the body to Studio One, and return to the trailer, and all in the space of a 15 minute break? How could I have disposed of the body? The break in the meeting in the trailer lasted 15 minutes from 2.30 to 2.45. The Jack Hammer had been pushed off the stairs to his death, and carried to Studio One, and then placed inside his costume. There wasn't enough time. Oh yeah, there was a fucking band, baby. Mm, indeed. Almost right. How could she have dealt with the body? She couldn't deal with it. She had a yeah, she had another way. Or she had another way to carry the body, other than her own hands. For instance? Actually, for that matter, there was no need for her to do the deed in 15 minutes. And there was a way for you to carry that body. Ah! Interesting. L let's hear it then. Mr. Wright, we're show us how she carry the body. By the fucking band. Mm. Behold, Miss Vasquez, you carry the body to Studio One, and you use the Studio Van to do it. Oh, oh, that's right. 
How does it feel, you dirty whore? Recall your testimony. There was to be a rehearsal afterwards, so we went to Studio One. I was fatigued, so I had Sal take me. There was a van there, right? I had Sal drive me. Use the van to carry the body to Studio One. Then, before everyone else got there, you put the body into the magistrate costume. Oh! Hold on, Mr. Wright. Don't forget it was Sal Manila that drove the van. Are you suggesting that Mr. Manila was a conspirator? I think he was, actually, because, I mean, that's why he was keeping so many secrets, right? Of course, Sal Manila has, has to have been a conspirator. The body had to be placed in the van and put into the costume. There's no way Miss Vasquez could have done that alone. Also, don't forget that they had to dispose of the Steel Samurai costume. They had to, because it was covered in Mr. Hammer's blood. They probably burned it in that small incinerator. Well, Miss Vasquez, shall I continue? No need. You're smarter than you look, Mr. Wright. Humph. I lose. You win. It, it was fun. Uh, I win? Yeah! I did it! Woo! <laughs> Wait, really? <laughs> Edward's like, um... Ah! Uh... Um... So, what happens next? Don't... Don't question mark me! Don't you have anything to say? What would you like me to say? Uh, huh? I lost? Something like that. I just said that. Wait, so you mean... Dear Vasquez, so it was you. You killed Jack Hammer. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Who can say? Huh? Are you sure I did, Mr. Wright? We just engaged in a battle of wits. And the result of the battle? You proved the possibility that I murdered Hammer. Right. But that is only a possibility. Proof is another thing altogether. You lack decisive proof, Mr. Wright. What? 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 <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> no! Or, or, wow, what the hell? Edward, you're getting your sh- <laughs> You're getting fucking cock blocked right now. Look at you. You're getting- <laughs> I can't seem to do shit this trial. Am I even here right now? Like, do I even need to be here? Start with your thoughts. Um, uh, uh, I don't feel like I've been t emasculated, and I've never been more turned on in my life. Of course, as the witness says, certainly it does seem very likely she did it, but, um, there's no proof. Ugh, Edgeworth isn't sure. Well, I came here as a witness today, and so if you have no more questions, I'll be leaving. Ugh, what do I do now? No further quick. Testify again, Vasquez. You did it, Vasquez. Hi. I'd like you to testify again. Testify again? No one to give up, Mr. Wright. Think about it. Even if I were to testify again, what's the point? I only... I can only say what I said before, the truth, Mr. Wright. I've already said all there is to say. What would happen if I said it again? Uh... You'd ask the same questions, get the same answers. A waste of time. Damn, damn, come so far only to fail. No! There seems there are no further questions. I would like to end the cross examination of the witness, Mr. Vasquez. God damn, what the fuck is this shit? Whoa, what the? Yes, Mr. Edward. I was hoping to come up with a question, question while I was objecting, Your Honor. I didn't. <laughs> I see, very well. <laughs> Hold your pants together, people. It's Edgeworth time. Booyah, baby! He slams the desk. <laughs> this is it, Edgeworth. Your moment of truth and justice. It all comes down to this. Edgeworth, what's, what's your question? I, I, I... Fuck me! <laughs> Damn it. Ugh. Your Honor, I requested the witness testify again. You're the prosecutor, are you not? Why are you badgering me? I'm your witness. I, I just want to hear your testimony again. Does this make any sense to you, Your Honor? I don't see what we have anything to gain by repeating the last several minutes. Mr. Edgeworth, I too see a little point in making Miss Vasquez repeat herself. What exactly did you hope did you want her to testify about? Oh, well, yes, um Indeed. Verily I say, ergo. <laughs> what is happening with you right now, Edgeworth? 
I want to hear about what what happened after after they found the body. After they found the body. Very well. The witness will testify to the court concerning this matter. <laughs> Nick! What did Edgeworth? Who knows? Oh, is he... I guess he... Maybe he sees her being guilty now and he's... My God, did Edgeworth grow, Edgeworth grow a conscience? No, it's impossible. It's Edgeworth, my arch nemesis. You probably realize she did it too. But, but... Wasn't he the one that said he always gets a guilty verdict? After all that? Edgeworth. Damn it, Edgeworth. Okay, what do we got here? I was with Sal, an old bag, the, t the security lady, when we found the bot. The assistant was there too, only Powers was absent. I immediately called the police. The, power, the, the, the Powers showed up after me. The security lady, old bag, was quite agitated, pointing at Powers, saying, I did it! I asked to be left out of the proceedings. I went back to the trailer to get my script and direction notes, and then I went home. Then I took a bath, and then I... And then I went and made a... And then I took a pee. Then I had a stellar T-bone stick. And then I watched... <laughs> a season finale of Friends. <laughs> oh, yes, I love that show. Oh, that's right, because this game is from the 90s. Aha! Uh -huh, I get it! She knows she's raised by this testimony. Mr. Wright, correct cross examination. Okay, Nick. We're close, real close. She may be acting tough now, but if you put her on the spot, she's sure to falter. Find the key you need and twist the truth out of her, Nick. Right. Mmm. All right, Edgeworth, it's showtime. It was the sound of the old bag and the security lady. Hold it! What time was that? We were to meet at five for the rehearsal. So I did, so I say it was then. When, ex when exactly did you and Mr. Manella arrive at the studio? About 10 minutes before. I wasn't stuffing any bodies in the costumes, mind you. Hmm. Press harder. Where were the other employees when you got to the studio? They weren't there yet. Well, then you could... Then you could have put Hammer in that costume with someone else's help. Oh, and what did I just say? Did I not just say I wasn't stuffing any bodies in any costumes? Because you tried to listen to what people have said, boy. Boy? I'm not a boy. We're from Tenure Testament. The system was there too, only Powers is absent. Hold it! Mr. Powers is taking a nap, correct? So he says. Did no one go to call him? Did no one go to call him? Remember. Remember what? There was a dead body lying in front of us, yet you expect me to be calm. You certainly seemed calm enough when I accused you of murder. Press harder. Wait a second. Wouldn't that be the other way around? The other way around. You discovered a murder body and one person was missing, right? Wouldn't you normally go looking for the missing person? Mm. I have to agree with the defense on this one. We almost fast cast. Huff. Logically speaking, perhaps. And no one there was very thinking very logically, I assure you. Plus, that is just samurai costume powers doesn't really stand out. We often left him on the bus when shooting at a location. No one noticed he was missing. <laughs> oh, poor powers. <laughs> powers is. <laughs> you see, here powers in the back going. <laughs> wow. Oh. Damn you, Vasquez. You're, you've always been so mean to me. Wow. Well, I suppose that explains that. Very much Spanish cash. You may continue. Immediately called the police. The powers showed up. Hold it. Hold it! What was everyone doing at the time? No one said a thing. It was silent. Completely silent. So we stood there until Powers arrived, or finally arrived on the scene. So, sorry, sorry, I'm late. Then silence, dead silence. Huh? I mean, like right now? Mm. <laughs> He's over there eating his sandwich. He's like, mm -hmm. <laughs> that's all he said to get here. Mm. Oh, sorry, I'm sorry. Was this an important, this is important here? Oh, I wasn't paying attention. Oh my God, freaking horseradish is delicious. Oh. Mm. Silence. Hey, hey, Nick. Why is everyone so quiet? So what you do saying to line their things up? <laughs> You're right. Come on, get out and dance for everybody. Okay! <laughs> Security lady Old Bag was quiet, she pointed to the power sink. He did it, he did it. Old Bag, Security Lady. Why did Security Lady think Powers had done it? She said because she saw him going toward the studio. Right. Still Samurai. Did the detective who arrested Mr. Powers be solely on the Security Lady's word? Perhaps not. She seems to have also given the detective that photograph. Plus, I heard all of this after the fact. That photograph? You mean the one taken by the security camera? 
She's not known for exhibiting the best sense of judgment when it comes to half. Hmm. I don't think there's anything in there I could use. Damn it all. I has to be left out of the proceedings. You asked to be left out! Yes. It seems that everyone else was questioned. And I'm really not fond of that sort of thing. Hmm, wait a minute. You can't just decide who the police will and won't question. Thankfully, the studio thinks otherwise. They were quite nice enough to understand us since we were in the meeting. There was no... There was no way we could have been involved unless they covered it cover for us. Cover for you. We covered it up for you. There must have been a lot riding on it with all those big ones in the meeting. I'm sure our professionals helped convince everyone they didn't require questioning. I went back to the trailer to get my script in the directions. Hold it! The script and your direction notes. Yes, the correct value. It wouldn't do to have them stolen. No, I guess not. Wait a second. I thought you came to Studio One for a rehearsal. Why didn't you bring your script and notes? Well, I was under the impression that we wouldn't be able to rehearse anything. Why? It was a murder, after all. Who could think of a rehearsal after that? Oh, yeah, I guess. Hmm, very well. Smash cash, please continue. What? Your Honor. I have an objection to the witness's last statement. <laughs> Dude, Edgeworth, you're fucking helping me? We tagged you in this bitch together, man? Dude, no way! Bros bro before hoes, bitch. <laughs> Is it, yeah, that didn't really make sense to me. Didn't she, like... I'm a little bit... She, she said she... There was a murder, but she didn't know there was a murder yet, did she? Huh? Think. Miss Vasquez says she didn't bring the script because there wouldn't be a rehearsal. Don't you see what that means? She would have would had to have known about the murder before going to Studio One. Huh? And that's what I was saying! I was, I was like, I was a little bit I was surprised that he didn't press more on that. What the fuck is happening? I think I'm in like an alternate universe or something, and everything's backwards. Edworth, are you the Mr. Edward, are you supposed to be the protagonist of this game? Well, I I don't know, Your Honor. I think I'm supposed to be the bad guy. Yes, so keep being the bad guy. God damn it. What, are you gonna. What, Mr. Wright, you gonna start being evil now or something? What the hell is this bullshit? God, am I Santa Claus? Am I fucking Santa now? What do you have just said? It's a reasonable observation. However, I find it hard to understand why the prosecution would make such a move. Or are you thinking of a career change to defense? I appreciate the concern, Your Honor. I will stand by my statement, however, regardless of how the court sees my role here. Now, Mr. Vasquez, do you have an explanation? I can't believe Edgeworth is helping me. What the fruity pebbles is going on here? Oh. So, so, the, so the prosecution is in the courts with the defense. What kind of court is this? No matter. I think you misunderstood me. I had a perfectly good reason to believe there would be no rehearsal. Hmm. Very well, the winners will change the testimony to reflect this reason. I knew that Ham was injured and just couldn't do any do any action scenes, so I left them, so I left them behind. Hold it! How'd you know about the injury? How did I know? Sal. He told me. Sal, the director. Hmm. It's my safe to pick this order. Here, or everything we've done should all have been wasted. I believe in you, Nick. Go get him! Objection. The photo? Is that it? You knew that Hammer was injured. Don't you think that's a little funny? I mean, it was the Steel Samurai who was injured. It was Will Powers! What?! Oh, that's right! Mr. Wright, explain yourself! Oh my- well, I, I, That was a fucking shot in the dark. I kinda just did the photo, because that was like the only thing that really seemed to be related to the injury that had time on it, so... Mr. Wright, explain yourself! Yes, Mr. Hammer is dragging his leg in this photo. That's because he was pretending, pretending to be Mr. Powers. P pretending One person was injured in the run-through that morning. That person was Mr. Powers, not Mr. Hammer. Oh, oh. And why did you think it was Mr. Hammer who was injured? I keep getting those two people mixed up. I see. All right. I see. But she was thought she, she said Mr. Hammer, not Mr. Powers. I got you. Ah! Oh, ah! Oh! I already said it was Sal who told me. Uh, that's right. He must have gotten it wrong. Uh, I think not. Mr. Manel was the was at the run through that morning. He would have known it was Mr. Powers who was injured. He saw it happen. Why would he tell you the wrong person? Miss Vasquez. <laughs> you heard Manel wrong. No. 
Actually, you didn't hear anything from Mr. Manila. You saw Mr. Hammer limping with your own eyes. Yes, but wasn't Mr. Prowse who said it? Yes, but remember, Mr. Hammer was dragging his leg too. He was pretending to be Mr. Powers. Ah! Ah! I just bit my finger! Oh, I'm about to bite this turkey sandwich. Will you stop talking about your fucking turkey sandwich? No! Fuck you! The best thing ever. Well, this is a turkey sandwich, so you try it. Bitch. God damn it. Oh. <laughs> and when was he doing this? Well, it would have been after he had put on the sister my costume, and then went to, went to Studio 2 where he was murdered. Exactly! Miss Vasquez, you met him, didn't you? You saw Steel Samurai limping. Mr. Hammer was in the Steel Samurai, that Steel Samurai suit. That's why you were confused. That's why you thought it was Mr. Hammer who had been injured that morning. Ha! Ah! Order, I will not drink a daughter! Witness, can you refute this claim? Hmm, hmm. Yeah, let's see you sneak out of this one, you dirty slut. Very well, I have a question for you. Ah, oh, balls. <laughs> Why are the real killers always so persistent? <laughs> Why in the world would I want Ham Mr. Hammer dead? Yes, he'd fallen on hard times, but he was a star. I had nothing to gain from his death, nothing! Hmm, yeah, she would need a motive. Why would she have killed a victim? If there's a reason that is unclear to this court, does the defense have anything to say on that map? In other words, can you prove she had a motive? Of course I can't prove it. Okay, I have proof and I'll show it to you. Present to the court the evidence is Mrs. Evans' motive of murder in this motive in this murder. Oh, this right here. The photo. This is my proof. This is the photo from before. This photo reveals the motive in this murder. Oh. I'm right, aren't I, Miss Vasquez? Hmm. Huff. Five years ago, Mr. Hammer was at the height of his fate. With D. Vasquez's help, a terrible accident was swept under the carpet. Ladies and gentlemen, the case currently up for trial. Again on that day, five years ago. Ironically enough, that accident per precipitated Mr. Hammer's fall. His fall from stardom. His guilt weighed him down, no doubt. However, you, D. Vasquez, used Mr. Hammer. You made him work for you for petty change. Oh. Bring us to the present day and Mr. Hammer's last role as the evil magistrate. Yes, undoubtedly he was the constant source of shame for the x star. Hmm. For a moment, Mr. Wright, we are talking about motives here, and yet you have only talked about Mr. Hammer. It almost seems as if... as if Mr. Hammer who had killed... as if it was Mr. Hammer who had killed D. Vasquez, not the other way around. What motive would Mr. Vasquez have? Yes, that's right. According to what you say, I would have had no reason to kill Hammer. He was a good source of income for me. And I'd never get rid of so useful men. It's a posse of mine. Mr. Wright, please explain Miss Vasquez's motive for murder. Reveal evidence she had no motive. Maybe she she had no motive? Is that it? She had no motive, Yarn. What's that now? It was Mr. Hammer who was out for blood. All Miss Vasquez was, did was push him off the stairs, in self-defense. What's that now? It's simple. Mr. Hammer was intending to kill Miss Vasquez. <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> Your Honor! Oh, is that it? Is that, is that right? Jack Hammer drugged Mr. Powers with sleeping pills. Uh, that's what I was kind of thinking, but I was like, but she seems so fucking evil. Like, and why would she, like, if it was in self-defense, why would she lie about it? Jack Hammer snuck into the dressing room and stole the Steel Samurai costume. Jack Hammer wore the costume to fool the security lady into thinking he was Powers. Then Jack Hammer made his way to the trailer. For purpose, you ask. To kill D. Vasquez, who had so cruelly taken advantage of him all those years. Yes? Oh, I got it! I nailed you! Mmm! So I was right. Okay, okay. I was like, I was trying, like, I thought there had to be some kind of motive thing, because why would she be trying so hard? If it was self-defense, though, then it's like, 
it's it's fine, you know? I mean, you can do you can defend yourself. Someone's trying to fucking kill you. Damn, I nailed it on the head though, didn't I? I was, it was it was blackmail. It was Diva. He was trying to go after Diva Vasquez and damn. Damn, I'm good. Ah, I should I should be a fucking lawyer or detective or lawyer detective. Yes. I am guilty. It was me. Someone call an ambulance. There's blood everywhere. There's blood everywhere. We're too late. Ah, Mr. Vasquez! Well, what happened here? Man Manuel fell down this... Down the trailer stairs. Manuel, Manuel! Mr. Vasquez, please try to make home. No! No! How could this... It was an accident. Mr. Hammer was doing an action scene and... No, Manuel, Manuel! Don't touch him, Miss Vasquez. No! Please, please don't die. Please. I love you, Manuel. Manuel. Do not forget me, Miss Vasquez. I am Manuel. My big burly chest. Congratulations, Mr. Wright. I lose. Again. You failed. Order! God dang it, whatever. Mr. Edward, where's the Vasquez? In the waiting lobby, Your Honor. As calm and collected as ever. Well, I guess that's a nice refreshing thing. You can throw a wig in your face, or scream at the top of his lungs, or rip it. I don't know. What, else, what, other, what other weird shit have to happen? I don't know. Throw a turkey sandwich in your face? Oh, well, actually, that'd probably be, that'd be my trial. You know, if I were defended. Thank God I'm not. Well, that'll never happen. Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. Here's you brought. Come on, you another miracle. Wow. Seriously, this shit is bananas. One of the weirdest cases I've ever had in them in one week. Uh, thank you, Your Honor. I think not, Your Honor. Will Powers was innocent. That he should be found so is only natural, not a miracle. Yes, yes, you're right. Never mind. You didn't do shit. You suck. Very well. This court finds the fair Mr. Will Power. Not guilty. Woohoo! Oh, God. I am so happy. Whoa. Whoa. That's all. Get the fuck out of my court. You're a big sandwich. God. Still finished yet? October 28th, 112 p.m. District Court, Independent Lobby Number 3. I. I don't know what to say. Come, embrace me. Thank you so much. I'm just glad you're okay. Yes, but it's sad. I know now that Mr. Hammer stole my costume. It's bad enough that he wanted to kill Miss Vasquez. I think that he tried to frame me from the murder. It makes me sad. Hoo -ah. Tell, <laughs> tell me why. Tell me why, Mr. Wright. Uh, huh? Tell me. Why did Mr. Hammer want to blame me? <laughs> I don't know. Show evidence. Well, this is what I think. Mr. Hammer wanted to put the blame on you because... This? It's because you were the Steel Samurai. Because I was the Steel Samurai. Mr. Hammer was a big star once. He was reduced to acting in a kid's show. He was a villain to boot. The kids love the Steel Samurai. So he hated you. I... I think I understand. I can see clearly now. The rain is gone. He could have just told me. I would have changed places with him any time. I think you're missing the point. <laughs> Thank you. I am just glad it's all, all over. So am I. So am I. Do, 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 do. We all learn a valuable life lesson about murdering friends and framing your co workers. It's not a good idea, and don't smoke either. <laughs> Congratulations, WP! Oh, oh, hey, hey. Thanks to you, I'll be able to don the Steel Samurai outfit once more. I can't wait to get back into the sweaty, sweaty costume end. Oh, that's right, he doesn't know. Uh, is something wrong? No, of course not. Ah! Uh, Nick Edgeworth? Uh, hmm. 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 Say something, right? I'm not good at small talk. Huh? What? Um, that was too bad, Edgeworth. You don't waste any time gloating, do you? No, I really want to thank you. Those kids would have gotten away if you hadn't stepped in. 
Uh, pleased to meet you. I'm Powers. Sniff. Wah! Are you always crying? Seriously. Yeah, I'm kinda wondering that too. <laughs> hey, hey, I've got feelings, okay? Deep down here under my burly, hairy chest. Uh, Edgeworth. I'm a big fan of your work, Mr. Powers. It's my favorite fucking show ever. <laughs> Ma! And right next to pa <laughs> right next to Power Rangers. Ma <laughs> love that little jingle. Mighty Morphin Power Ranger. <laughs> Liar! Right. I must say I hadn't expected to meet you again after all these years. Meet again! However, in retrospect, it would have been would have been better had we not met. Thanks to you, I am saddled with unnecessary feelings. I love you. <laughs> and I you. <laughs> This is true, it's just a weird fan fiction! Oh god, the yaoi! The yaoi! <laughs> necessary feelings. Yes, unease and uncertainty. Are those kind of necessary? They only serve to get in my way. Listen to me, Phoenix Wright. Don't ever show your face in front of me again. That's what I came here to tell you. As I fade away... Um, Mr. Wright? Are you gay for each other? <laughs> is this guy your friend? What? Friends? As if! They're rivals! Rivals right now! For now we are, I guess. <laughs> huh? Where do I get the feeling I'm missing something important? Come on, Nick, tell me! What's the deal with you and Edgeworth? <clears throat> and so the curtain closes on another trial. Wait, now we're not gonna answer? What the hell? And I just fucking ignored Maya. <laughs> Come on, tell me! Shut up, go away. Go watch your stupid TV show. I caused quite a stir by revealing that accent from five years ago. It was the talk of the town. Thankfully, Global Studios rethought its programming change. Went back to making kids, making kids shows again. Oh, that's good. Oh my god, they make the big princess! Nick! <laughs> this is it! The new show starts today! You're gonna watch it with me, right? It's a show about me! I'll admit, I was kind of surprised. <laughs> I didn't think they'd seriously go through with it. You have to buy trade cards too, okay? We have to trade with me, Cody, their sister, they lady, blah, 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 blah. And this card is this, and this one is that, and this. Fine, just I'll do it. Is it agree that WP gets to play the lead again? I wonder if they'll show his real face this time. Wait, what? He plays the lead? As Pink Princess? I don't know. I don't think the world is ready for the real cool powers. I am a pretty big princess. Ha ha. <laughs> I feel pretty. Oh so pretty. I feel witty and pretty and gay. Round new episode has been added. Turn out turn about goodbyes. Oh, that sounds sad. Okay, well. Guess I'll end this video here now, guys. Oh man, that was a nice little twist. I called that shit though. I'm proud of myself. I actually I actually got that pretty well. Anyway, like when you enjoy this video, subscribe now, hot boy the SLP. Days are always sunny, the vids are always funny, the turkey sandwiches are always delicious. Come on, I, God, I really could go for a turkey sandwich right now. I don't know about you guys. You guys want to go get one? Come on, let's go get one together. Anyway, until next time, guys, stay classy.